One frequent question that we get, and it was asked several times in the live Q&A portion of our webinar, MathCAD for Mechanical Engineers, which you can find a link to in the description, is how to set up tables in MathCAD to perform batch calculations for groups of similar equations like you can do in a spreadsheet, or how to have an inputs table to an outputs table. You can do it in a spreadsheet software like this. Or uh, you can do it just as easily in MathCAD Prime as well. And it's a lot more transparent what you're doing, both for a secondary reader or for yourself if you need to refer to your calculations later on. We just published a step-by-step -step blog about this topic, but before we get to that, let's show how we answer the question in MathCAD for Mechanical Engineers. Is there a simple way to do a large batch of similar calculations such as an inputs table to an outputs table? So in MathCAD, if you create a, a table of data, either using an array or, or maybe a vector, but, but a table would be two dimensions, so an array um, or matrix, then uh, a calculation can can be executed on the entire table of data. It can be executed on the entire table of data at once or on specific vectors, rows or columns. And the thing to note though, to, to execute a function over an entire table of data, so you have a table of data going in and then a table of data coming out, right? The, in the input would be a table, the output would also be a table. The thing to remember is that when, when you're operating on a table of data in MathCAD, if the calculation that you're performing, you'll define it as a function and the input to the function will be a variable and that variable will be an array data type. The, the calculation, if there's any multiplication involved, then you have to apply something called the vectorize operator. And so you can you can look in the in the help and look up the vectorize operator. And it's located on the um, matrices and tables tab under the vector and matrix operators. And the vectorize operator will do an element by element calculation for every uh, for every entry in your table of data. So if you have multiplication in your formula then it's going to be very important that you apply that vectorize operator so that you get an element by element calculation. Uh, that's the practical solution, right? Many times we don't want we don't want to calculate the dot product. So to avoid doing that, we have to apply that vectorize operator. But the way that you do this is you define a function that will operate over every entry in your table and then you use the vectorize operator if needed and the input to your function will be your table of data of an array data type and or a matrix data type and the output will also be an array all right next question well if you have more questions or want to see it in action let's go to the mathcad blog and there's a direct link in the description you will find Evaluating Complex Functions Over Columns in MathCAD Prime, a step-by-step -step guide. Here, you will learn all you need to know about what Angie just described in her answer, as well as how to handle several different kinds of cases with examples at the end. You'll even be able to download the blog as a MathCAD Prime worksheet so you can keep it easily as a reference tool. And with that, I hope you've learned something and you continue to check out the MathCAD YouTube channel and subscribe for more tips and tricks.